Okay, so this one gives you a, a scenario as well. Um, in the uh, question, you can refer to the scenario, so that's okay. So it says, Didier is a student who's studying for his A-levels. He attends Montmartre College. Um, when he is at college, he uses the college's computer network in order to do his coursework. Okay, so that's already giving the indication that he uses a desktop PC. When he is at home, he uses his own laptop to continue work. So I think you're already gathering from here that they're going to ask you about storage devices. So he decided to take weather readings for a month from part of his geography coursework. He would then have to write a report on his findings. He uses the internet to find some information about climate change during the previous 11 months for his, uh, his report. Now, what you need to think of here is when you're looking at these sort of things, is when you do your research for your subjects, um, you don't just read stuff, okay, because you watch videos, you may listen um, to audio files, you may download videos, um, you may download audio files to help you, and obviously you find things on websites and you may download um, some PDF files. Right, so let's look at the question here. I think you've already guessed it, well, you would have already read that it's about um, storage devices. So, um, it's asking you name four storage devices, okay, so name them, which Didier or the college could use for each, uh, for each device, uh, sorry, name four storage devices which Didier or the college could use for each device give a different use. So they're asking you to explain the use for each storage device. Now, you can refer to static storage devices. So, for example, may, sorry, ignore me, static storage devices is uh, probably the wrong word to use. Um, more permanent or non-mobile storage devices, okay? Um, so, for example, you can refer to solid-state drives and you can refer to the computer's hard drive. So, solid-state drives are, in, um, are inside a PC, okay, or a laptop, for example, and they don't have the disk that spins around. So if I was to go on the internet here, and um, I would put down solid state drive, okay, this is what a solid state drive looks like. Okay, this is the inside of a solid state drive. And here, as you can see, here's a comparison of the two. So this is a magnetic hard drive, this is a solid state drive. So one would be faster than the other because when you turn a computer on, you're going to need to wait for this disk to whiz around really, really, really fast and for the arm to come over or the actor to come over um, to actually read the disk backwards and forwards. Where with the solid state drives, you can see that electricity would just whiz through it and that's how it would work. So you can refer to these. So now this, the, um, the scenario does say state a storage device that the college or the student could use. So those are two um, storage devices that you could discuss because um, Didier and the college can actually store the, um, the coursework uh, files um, on the computer itself. Now, the other situation is, is, is that Didier needs to um, take some coursework home, take research home, because as it says, he works on a college's computers and he also works um, on his laptop. So the most obvious ones to discuss um, would be a USB flash drive. So the USB flash drive, he can plug into the computer, transfer the files over and take them home and work on them. Okay, um, you can also discuss, discuss other storage mediums. So he is a geography student. Okay, so he may watch, you know, uh, weather reports. Okay, because they're weather readings and, um, and report of his findings. So, for example, you could discuss a DVD because um, on a DVD he can store videos that he may want to watch for his coursework. Okay, so they're free storage devices. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to come up with the um, um, last one, but 
sorry, is it four they've got to discuss? Yep, four. So um, I'm sure you're going to be able to want to come up with the um, fourth one. Um, so you can stop the video now or if you need further help, listen on. Okay. Um, other storage mediums. So if we, for example, Google storage devices. Okay. Um, I wouldn't recommend, obviously, a memory card. Um, floppy disk, they're more or less obsolete. I wouldn't recommend those. Um, so, but you can discuss, for example, a portable hard drive. An external hard drives are very good for um, storing large amounts of data. You can get um, very small portable hard drives, just like this one, that can store up to one terabyte. Um, my portable hard drive stores one terabyte, but I have to plug it into the wall for extra power, but the newer ones don't. Um, so next one you could probably discuss is a magnetic um, tape, because they actually store large amounts of data. Um, they're almost more or less obsolete, but they're still in syllabus, so you, I think you can discuss those um, if you look in your book. Okay, right, so they're the storage devices. Now, when it comes to questions like this, keep it simple, okay? So just discuss the purpose. So for example, a DVD is a storage device and it's used um, to store videos. So he may want to store videos about his coursework. A solid state drive um, would be um, inside the computer that he can store his coursework on when he's working on it in college. Um, a USB memory stick. Um, is, is used as a backup storage, okay, so make sure that you mention backup as well, okay, so he can actually back up his files and continue working on them at home, all right, so best of luck.